Um, hi guys, what's up? I am back with Titan Season 2, Episode 9 already. I feel like we're almost done with this season. This is crazy how quick it's gone. Um, it's been pretty good, well-paced. Uh, last episode we mostly just got flashback. Uh, hoping for more context in the present time now. Um, last time in the present, Dick admitted what happened with Jericho. Um, so we'll see what's up. Uh, I still think that Jericho's alive, and I hope to find out this episode. So, let's get started. You were to come home at once and take your royal turn. Wear the crown. So we're gonna focus a bit on Corey's story. This guy escaped or something? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Let them come. Ooh, so they're coming this episode? Shit. Too much is going on, man. A lot going on. We barely seen Gar Garfield there. All this episode, like the last couple episodes. <coughs> Is he gonna punch him? Yeah. Jason, you don't decide what I do anymore. What anybody does. Okay, so they're all leaving. Kidding me? I want them to stick together and figure shit out, cause something's going on. I'm going with them. How about Cory? You're not gonna hang with Cory? Can I go with you? Barely know her. Sure. sure. Yeah, she's like confused. At least it's out now. The truth. The truth will set you free. I don't think so. Some event has to bring them back together. That's the whole plot. Okay, well that's a sad start to an episode. <laughs> Your sister happened. Blackfire's here? Shit. No. Oh. Well she sent her friends to kill the both of them. I wanna see Blackfire! Come on. That's impossible. Why? She would have had to circumvent my entire force. They're all dead, aren't Just like she wanted you and me. Oh shit. She sent the Royal Goon Squad. Now they're trying to kill her. Oh okay. god. <laughs> you all played a part. You all decided to keep it a secret. Ooh. Yeah, and Donna especially wanted to use the kid. Yeah. Rachel. What is she doing? Rachel, what's happening? Sorry about that. What? You're the one that wanted to go with her. I don't understand. And you held her back so you could leave the car. Like you chose to go with her. Can you just go on your own if you want to be on your own? I don't get it. Fine, but whatever. They left. Logically, that means you don't have. Surprise! Garfield didn't go with Raven. That seems. Yeah. Okay. Weird. When he wakes up, call Bruce. Bruce Wayne. No, Bruce Springsteen. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Just leaving I Garfield there, but. Was... Like, just okay. Hey, at least he gets to hang out with a dog. I would, I would love that. We're just focusing on him and. Cars log, start date June twenty first. Alone there. He's honestly doing a better job than what I do. <laughs> Adulting is hard, okay? It was the best. Oh. It was the worst of times. Oh, it was the age cute. of wisdom. It was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief. It was the epoch of incredulity. Are they reading A Tale of Two Cities? I gotta check this out. I have to look for It was the epoch of belief. Oh! How did I remember that shit? I haven't read that book since, yeah. like, ninth grade, so it's been, like, eight years. And I absolutely hated that book. <laughs> I don't even remember if I finished it, but man, this is why I study literature. <laughs> wow, can't believe I remember that. I'm like, this sounds familiar. It was okay. I feel happy about myself. I just used my degree. I haven't done that in a while. It was 
No, you gotta switch it up more, man. Otherwise, you get bored. An anxiety that almost amounted to agony. I collected the instruments of life around me that I might infuse a spark of being into the lifeless thing that lay at my feet. That one, I don't know. Feels like Frankenstein or something. Let me check. I'm not even joking. What? Did I just guess that book without even having read it? Oh my god. Wow, 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 guys. I have not read Frankenstein, and I just took a guess. Got it right. Wow, this is a good episode for me. I, I feel happy. The rest of my day is... I'm just gonna be happy forever now. Oh, he's gotten to that point. It's like we eating ramen out of the pot. You're already on day four, and like... You're already this much of a mess as I am right now. Or like, that's actually worse. I have, I at least have my window fully open. You're in the dark. I'd be, okay, that would be me after like a month. Holy shit, he's still moving. Clothes, Connor. Clothes. We've had this discussion before. <laughs> nice, they get to bond a bit. I'm down. How long have they been on the road? I thought this was day four. Spaceship must have been far away. The fuck is that shit? Ooh. No. Mind position? This is the Sandy bag. One punch, it's gone, bro. Give it a shot. One punch, it's gone. <laughs> oh, that dog is awesome. Don't ever sing this at a karaoke. Guys, I'm excited. Oh, please be better. Please. Oh, yes! Nice. They're too good. <laughs> They're too good. This is obviously not karaoke. <laughs> I wish they'd sung live. They weren't even trying and holding the microphone to their voice, to their mouths when they were doing that part. But whatever. That's cute. They get to relax again for a bit. Hopefully nobody uh, explodes in front of them. Uh oh, what the fuck? What? Who? Was that her brother? That, uh, Dr. Lightkill? What was it that you liked to say to Ellen? Oh, yeah. One day at a time. Okay, man. Just calm down. Like, do you even have an explanation for what actually happened to your brother? Like, he kind of blew up from the inside. I wouldn't know who to blame for that. Ha! <laughs> ah. <laughs> Impossible. You guys will be a kid, and that's fine. I don't know. I have this other side. Everybody does. I mean, Raven would relate to this. Where is she? She had nowhere to go before. What, what is she doing? Show me how not to die. I sentence you to live alone, depression. What? That's his punishment? He's a... Not until you've paid for your crime. 
pillar for hire and he's like, yeah, he sentenced you to live alone forever. <laughs> okay? Not God, he can't do that. Like, if he went back, he could still have Garfield and Connor. He's not alone. I think you should go. No. No. Wait. He's tired. Time to go. Grayson! He has Jericho inside of him. I will kill every last one of you. That was weird. Like he was a little bit possessed, right? Oh. Right, guys? Think of all of this. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, no. Help. Help, you're hurting me. Help. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Hero time. Oh. No, that's the police. Oh, no. oh shit. Come on. What are you, you running away? He's changing, right? No, I don't know what's going on. Nope, I guess not. Garfield literally just ran away. After unleashing him to the world. She wanted to have you castrated after we slept together. The rules are rules. Oh my, rules are rules, man. Her sister seems intense. Well, I'm ready for that uh, throwdown between uh, Starfire and Blackfire. Don't know about you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna freak the fuck out. The problem isn't where we go. It's us. Wait. You're breaking up? Sounds like a breakup. We met in grief counseling, though. We're practically defined by loss. I don't believe that. I don't think yeah. you do either. I don't believe together. that. I mean, that's how you met, but then she was with Dick, and when he was finally a bit healed, mentality. then you guys got together. We're really doing. I'm surprised he's doing this. I feel like she's the one holding you together, man. Seriously. So I feel like just depressing the shit out of me. It was dumb of them to go back to the place where <laughs> they lost someone important to them. Of course, they're going to be reminded by that, so that wasn't smart. Oh gosh, it's so tiny compared to hers. Any part of you that's still alive in there. Is he dead? I am so sorry. Does that thing kill your consciousness? Or, or eat away at it? Does she have to freaking kill him? Gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, what the hell, guys? What? I thought we were supposed to be shipping them too, or some. Or at least, like, he was stronger than I expected. liking what do you want? Black them life. bonding, because they came from the same planet, they grew up together, and now she just Either killed him? That's her sister, though. Of course not. She looks awesome. That's intense of her to know. If I was gone, Go after him. She killed her own parents. Wow. Yes. She evil. Good. Good. Bye. <laughs> that was a weird goodbye. Good. Bye. <laughs> Fuck. You need a spaceship, girl. Is nobody taking his call? He got left alone with a superhuman. What? He wants to be punished? What is this episode?
Is it gonna end there? Okay. Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> I was just... What a bummer this episode was. Oh my god. It started off with Dick telling everybody the truth and everybody leaving. That's how it started. He got punched in the face. Um, that was already pretty low. And then it just went downhill from there, man. <laughs> Nothing good came out of this episode except for what I thought Garfield and Connor were, you know, hanging out, they're getting to know each other, they're being like teenage boys, you know, and then Connor just ended up hurting a bunch of policemen and Garfield just ran away, cowered in a corner and is trying to get an adult to freaking help him because they left him alone. Uh, guys, it's just it's too much for me. I just hate every single thing about this episode. I mean, I, I guess that's what they want. They want to get a rise out of me because, oh man, we didn't even see Raven and Donna at all. So don't know what's going on there. Don't know what Raven would be doing alone. She was alone before. I guess she's trying to find herself or something. At least I'm hoping there's something going on. Hank and Don broke up. It was a really cute moment where they had a karaoke scene, but then that too went downhill. Um, Starfire had to kill the man that she, you know, had a thing for and came from her home planet. They were friends. They grew up together. She just laughed at him because her sister had taken over his body somehow. And I'm, wow. And also, she wasn't much emotion from her. She had one little hesitance and then, pfft, he gone. Um, but I guess she's putting all of her anger into wanting to fight her sister. She has to get home somehow. The whole Garfield thing, I really liked how they bonded Garfield and Connor. But it's hard to teach someone who doesn't know anything about Earth right and wrong because there's so many gray areas, you know? And Garfield definitely needed help because he is physically unable to stop Connor. He couldn't do anything, you know. And what the hell was Dick doing this entire time? He was just getting kicked even further by going to see Jericho's mom and dad. Uh, and then he just started going to the all the way over to Greenland and freezing to death. He just wanted to get caught by the police. I don't know, this episode was just a bit much for me and I'm hoping we, we got a couple more left. Please bring it up again, guys. I uh, It's just frustrating, so frustrating. Let me know what you guys thought, uh, if you agree with me or you th think I'm an idiot and this was an amazing episode. <laughs> I don't feel it. I uh, hope you liked my reaction. Anyways, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.